morning to you ladies, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome back to Hive Swap. Oh, nice big stretch there. Um, so we're playing as Jude now. Was it Jude? Yeah. I think so. Jude and, yeah, Jude and Joey. Um, brother and sister. And we got our little pidge friends here, who look like they're straight out of a, a cartoon. Um, the resolution should be fixed now. A lot of people, including the developers themselves, talked about a fix for the resolution. It wasn't supposed to be like that last time, so apologies on that. I thought it was, I thought it was some sort of like quirky thing they were doing with the screen, but nope, apparently just a bug. So if you start up the game yourself and it looks like that, quit, save it, quit the game and then come back and everything should be fine. So everything's okay now. Um, so we're playing as Jude, uh, let's talk to Tactical Error. Consolidated all marbles here in Treehouse to prevent Attic Key from falling into the wrong hands. Over. Additionally, forgot about doing that. Over. No cause for concern putting Top Agent on it. Over. Wait, who? Did you, uh, who? Wait, who? Did you get in touch with one of your friends or. Oh god. You mean one of your pigeons, don't you? Over and out. <laughs> Am I putting the fucking pigeon on the case? Okay, let's look around Jude's place. You dropped your favorite pair of binoculars when you were, uh, retreating from the big serpent. These are actually your secondary auxiliary binoculars, your ox nox for short. Not to be, uh, confused with your ox crocs. Um, very similar things, but different. I love this music. Burning evidence? The hell? Your careful records of the activity of the mysterious figures you often see prowling around in the woods. Joey didn't buy it, but the sudden influx of monsters may have changed her stance. Hmm, maybe. You, you guys give off a very Mabel Dipper vibe. Your careful records of the activity. Oh, wait, serious, same thing. Okay. Is that how many you've seen? Oh, you got some geodes. You keep smashing geodes in case they're secretly alien eggs. And if one is, well, you'll already have the hammer in your hand, won't you? <laughs> Let's open my chest. What the hell did I get? Flares! I thought they were like shotgun cartridges. You retrieved the cache of flares you were keeping in your metal chest. Combined with your flare gun, they are a tactical treasure. Okay, here's my flare gun. Hell yeah. The chamber's empty because you- Because you observe proper flare gun safety protocols. Maybe you should load it, because you've also observed some scary stuff this evening. Nice. Okay, so that's your weapon. Breath held, hand steady. You carefully load the flares into the flare gun. There's no going back now. The genie is out of the bottle. I thought genies were in lamps. Um... But <laughs> I love how he's like carefully putting them in. Almost like they're nuclear warheads or something. Oh! So this is how we actually do the puzzle. Fire forward, uh, red, green. Okay. You've already committed this crucial intelligence to memory, but a truly great field commander keeps even better records. Good job, Jude. We all trust in you. A standard camping lantern. Your uses of it are hardly standard. You thinks more like outstandard. That is, uh, great. Okay, good job. Only a few of these are actually liquids, and unfortunately, those are also the ones the ones whose contents you don't precisely exactly 100% remember with total certainty. You're not saying some of them are urine, but you're not saying none of them are urine. <laughs> Jude, why are you keeping a collection of your own pee? Might be time to scan the airwaves again. See if you can pick up any of the chatter from the enemy. Hmm. Bat boy spotted at Bar Mitzvah. Aw, oh, man, do you remember these books? It looks like a Hitler vampire. That That is exactly what it's supposed to be, isn't it? I don't know. Um, it used to be those old magazines that were like news magazines, but they had god-awful stuff in them. Like really cheesy, well, god-awful to most people. I love them because they were all about like aliens and Bigfoot and everything, but to a lot of people they were god-awful. This thing, talk about an enigma. One day you'll figure out what it does, and why certain shady characters want to get their hands on it so badly. You have some theories, of course. This looks like a metal snake demon. Is that the basilisk from Harry Potter? Your copious notes and some disreputable activities carried out by members of what you can only describe as some sort of cult. You've been surreptitiously gathering intelligence on them for a good while. You've detailed some of this stuff on your 
sites but have real, really juicy stuff has to say off the grid. A term you have just coined yourself just now. Okay, cool. Dude, you got it going on. Dude's my type of dude. Ooh, okay, we need marbles. You put a red marble in the pouch and a green marble in the pouch. Can I put more marbles in the pouch? Get pouch. Haha! -ha! This stuff is all treasure, plain and simple. So I can't actually take any more. So I must have done it right because it said red and green in the thing. Um, I can also get rid of this if I want. But I kind of like having it on screen. I don't know, it kind of adds to it. These environments though are really, really nice. They're really well drawn. Is this alien language? Let's look out the window. Oh god, he's right there. Hi. Look at these monsters. No eyes, no weapons. Only the most rudimentary of squad-based tactical maneuvers. This is a diversionary feint by an expendable vanguard if you've ever seen one. Hmm. Good call. The puppy castle seems fortified for the moment. You and that pup spend some time adding extra defensing implements this summer. They are holding up nicely. Is that the one I fought? Look at these monsters. Oh, wait, same thing. There she blows, Harley Manor. Well, mainly, maybe only half Harley Manor since Joey disowned the name in favor of your mother's. Thankfully, this angle shields you from the hateful gaze of Joey's Bubsy poster. <laughs> why, 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 why? Okay, you don't do anything new. Alrighty, cool. Um, anything else to look at in here? Pigeons, oh yeah. When the heat is on from the government, you, and you need to send an encry encrypted message while staying off the grid, you entrust it to one of your trained carrier pigeons, the lone gunbirds. You survey the troops. There's Langley, Byers, and of course, Frohike. He's your favorite. I like Frohike. Dear sweet Frohike, how you adore him. You cherish the wind he flaps. Sure do. Which one is Frohike though? Um. I don't think there's anything else here that I can check. Okay, are we going down? Egress! Of course! Of course Jude would egress! You wouldn't just go down the stairs, you would egress. Look, if we were just your can on the line, you'd be out that hatch, down the ladder and blasting those monsters in a second! But Joey's counting on you, and you've got to get her to a more defensible position before you can even consider heroically abandoning your own. Okay, so am I supposed to give them something? The marbles. Right? Haha! <laughs> Go, Fro Hike! Go, my beautiful boy! Oh shit! Fro Hike! Oh no! Was it Fro Hike? Frohike! Beautiful, sweet, precious, dear, darling, and ultimately fragile Frohike! <laughs> you were too good for this rotten, dark nightmare of a world! May the wings of chance and dream bear thee to thy rest on the white sandy shores of paradise. Frohike. <laughs> oh, fuck! Sorry for all up, unbelievable, tragic disaster! Over. Did you lose something else? Boss soldier on making second attempt now! Over! Uh, alright. Are you sure you're- Over! <laughs> Frohike! Over and out, Frohike! Oh, that's legitimately sad, man. Wait! Do I have to get more marbles now? Take another pouch from the drawer and load it with another red marble and another green marble. Okay. Let's try this again! Oh, the music's sadder this time. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Just gone. Which one was that? Byers. A motherfucker. Langley. Oh, it was Langley. Langley the coward. Langley the blackguard. Hey! Irish people say blackguard a lot. Yeah, frickin' blackguard ya. A thousand deaths, a million deaths, an infin infinitude of deaths would not be enough. Langley, warm-hearted. 
Langley Bileblood. Langley. You heard it here. For as long as I live, I will curse the name! Langley. You hate him with everything you are and ever will be. Langley! <laughs> okay. Are you alright? Betrayal! Over. A bad dead bed. Over. The lowest, vilest cowardice. Over. Um, well, can't even communicate through a degree of outrage. Over. Likely to jeopardize mission if emotion not suppressed. Over. Uh, egg coming. Over and out. Okay. Let's try this one more time. Your hands are definitely not shaking as you pluck two more marbles from their safe, cozy compartments in the drawer and drop them into the depths of the pouch's waiting leathery maw. That's one way of saying you put some balls in a sack. Byers, we're counting on you. Go, Byers! Yes. Yes! Yes, Byers! That's good enough. <laughs> Sweet. Over oh, Joey again. Success. Jeez, I'm crow, Byers. My boy, so brave, so true, so great. Over. Are you actually just point blank losing your mind now? It would maybe be kind of a relief after years of build up, but you could have picked a better night for it. Mission accomplished. Byers, champion of champions, waiting for you in the kitchen. Over. Uh, why? Uh, over. Oh, Byers has marbles required to acquire a key. Over. All right, I guess that sort of makes sense. New development, Byers being menace. Please hurry, over. What? Uh, oh, okay, uh, I'm on it. Hurry, please, Joey. He's all I have left. Over and out. Okay, Joey, go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Um, to the kitchen. Wait, wasn't the kitchen down this way? Never mind. Never mind. To the kitchen! Oh, hell yeah! It's time for a fucking dance battle! You wanna go, Wings? My heart! So true, so loyal! I will defeat you! It's time for strife! Okay, what are we doing? Are we smacking the shit out of a bird brain? Get him! Hey! Over here! Flash him! Nothing doing! Ha! Huh. Throw a pog at him! Flip the flap out! Flip skipped! Damn it! Okay, maybe I can tippy tap his ass! Pardon me, boy! Ha ha! Can you give me a shine? Um. What? Are you saying something? Okay, now I don't know what I do. Smack him! Thrill him with daylight! Okay, he has no eyes. We can't thrill him with daylight. We can't blind him. Um. Throw pods at him again! Face full of slammers! What had it? How'd happen? Get a coffin ready! No! Okay, dance at him again! Okay, try to get its attention. Make some noise or some light or something. That pigeon is- or that pigeon is done for. I am trying! Pardon me, boy! I like how the dude just came out through the window. Okay, I have to do something with the pitch. This guy just shows up like, hey, what are you guys doing? Okay, I'm leaving. Okay, maybe we can pirouette around him. Opening night! You didn't fucking do anything. Wait, something's shining over here. Can I get this? Yes! What is this? Got magic spice mix. Okay, use it on him. Spice to meet you! It didn't work! Pigeon, help! Ah, oh, shit. Pigeon's getting beat to smack. I don't want my pigeon getting all fluff and feathered up. Can you give me a shine? Okay. No? Can I use anything on you? Careful not to mix these up. You'd hate to reach for a critter tree and come back with like a wren or a stimpy or ugh, a dog funny. Good references. 
Nah, they're already irresistible pretty much all animals. Why kill the lily? Okay, what the fuck am I doing? Shine him. Okay, got his attention. Now what do I do? Now hit him? Spice to meet you! Okay, something happened. Yeah! Oh, cause I put it in his mouth! Nice! Okay, that was exaggerated. Mixed success! I like to think that that sums up my life pretty well. Successful, but mixed. Joy, thank you for tactically brilliant seasoning murder. <laughs> Byers has payload. Repeat, Byers has payload. Over. Thanks. Um, do you know how I might get him down? He seems pretty terrified. Negative, Byers simply has unfortunate mercenary streak. Should respond to enticement. Over. How do you bribe a pigeon? Sounds like set up for riddle, or perhaps joke. Over. Bye, Jude. Over and out. I'll go back to cataloging monsters like vampires and uh, big feet. Um, okay. Entice a pigeon. Would thou pigeon must like a pog? If pogs are what it takes to get him off the fridge, he can stay up there. There's gotta be something else around here he'd be more into. One of the developers, um, the per one of the per people who wrote a lot of the dialogue in the game said that they were annoying one of the other developers with pog jokes. And I freaking love that. That's awesome. Oh, and I also said, I wanna, I wanna correct it here and now as well because I feel bad. I said that Toby Fox made the music for the game, but Toby Fox only had a hand in it. Somebody else as well. Oh, I forget their name. I'm so sorry. I talked to them on Twitter, there was a lot of names. They- they also made the music as well. In fact, I think they made most of the music. So, I- I- I gave all the credit to Toby Fox and I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't know. Um... Oddly enough, you aren't sure these are safe for birds. After the violent, strangled death of that monster, you're a little nervous about just feeding things to other things at random. Maybe there's something safer around here, like bread? Bread-like, at least. Hmm. What about spice mix? The pigeon just saw you kill that monster with this stuff. There's no way he'll go for it. Fair point. There's pizza on the wall. Boo 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 boo. Do day do day do. Music's so good. I was listening to the soundtrack after I played the last episode. It's really good. Look, you're not saying you never have home cooked meals. Your babysitter is a pretty good chef, even. It's just. Well, none of you like doing dishes. And the nice thing about takeout is that you can just eat it right out of the boxes and then throw the boxes away. Of course, none of you really like taking out the trash either. So you just have a fucking mess. Clean? Oh wait, no, I tried that already. Look. The sink is full of dirty dishes. Someone should clean these up. Yeah, Jude. Okay, he's not listening to me. Um, what about this? Even out of dog food. Oh yeah, I checked this. Is there freaking anything around here that I can use? Maybe they listen to music. Oh, maybe they like syrup. Your babysitter has just really atrocious taste. You're only 14, even you can tell this is just really crummy. Oh, that's actually alcohol. I thought it looked like a syrup bottle. Um. Okay, is there anything in any of these? Ha ha! A cracker! Behold the saltine! Is it a saltine? I don't know. All of you raid from this meager cabinet is the saltiest, is this, oh, the stalest, tiniest, worst cracker. Okay, you want saltine? Nom nom saltine? Success! This little fellow. Byers, you think? Yes, you're pretty sure. This is Byers. Gobbles down the stale cracker as you took him into your pocket. He's got a little parcel around his neck, which you're fine with with, with letting him hold uh, until you actually figure out what you're supposed to do with it. Okay, back we go. Come on, Byers. Wait, I gotta talk to your dad. Okay, got the marbles. Do you want me to send the pigeon back? No. Over. Okay. Sorry, didn't mean to shout. Just worry, please protect Byers. His chances are surviving return trip or even very remote. Over. Okay, yeah, good point. Seems pretty dicey out there. Affirmative! Over. I'll just 
use these marbles or whatever then. I'll let you know how it goes. Affirmative! Good luck, sis! Over and out! Okay. Oh, <laughs> look at Joey's smile. Do 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 do. the marble part from around his neck and believe it or not shove the marbles into the empty eye sockets okay cool you discard the pouch what an evening it's been what about the pigeon okay let's spin this bad boy oh yeah there was green and red stuff on this you got what you assume to be the attic key can I spin again your pa's love of globes knows no bounds but you don't recognize any of the continents in this one. Oh, I read this Okay, let's talk to Jude again. I uh, got the key. Heading back up to the attic now. Careful, beta beta simple. Over. What do you mean? None of this has been simple. It's been downright convoluted. Noticing hostile elements, grouping, serpents, massing. Over. Oh, jeez. We'll try to back you up if possible. Remain alert, sis. Over. Always am, bro. Over and out. I had no idea what voice to give Joey, because I can't do a convincing girl's voice and I ended up doing May's voice from Night in the Woods again last time, so... I'm trying to give her a, a basic voice. Oh, crumbs! Cheese and biscuits! Run, Joey! Do I have to fight these? I really don't want to fight these. Okay, we're out. Oh, shit. Oh, no, it's the gobstopper! Wait, are they gonna fight each other and I'm in the middle? Ah, oh, shit. Maybe I can... Okay. Hey, hey, wait! Ow! The fuck? Um, well, I'm dead. Oh, wait. What's this? Jude! What's going on? Joey took a brutal hit. She's down for the count. You gotta find some way to distract those monsters so she can get back on her feet. Um. Uh, okay. Uh. What do we do? Um. Oh, for buyers. Hyperion child who pulls the sun, whose wing flaps are the wind, whose infinite beak splinters the skin of monsters and brings tyrants to their ruin. Oh, for buyers. A song for the golden bird who carries us to paradise. The beating heart of God is Byers. Byers everlasting. Okay. The long gone birds. Can I go down? Okay, I can't go down. Uh. Okay. Ooh, flares! Yeah, shit, I forgot. Here we go, yes! I completely forgot I had flares. Do it, Jude! Nice! Did that even work? Okay, I just gotta fight Stampy over here. Pirouette by him! There's no getting past this behemoth right now. Focus on the relatively smaller ones. Okay, smaller ones, it's time for a beatdown! Uh, excuse me. Haha! -ha! Nice! No excuses! Uh, what? Now would be a really great time for Jude to fire another flare. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Jude, get ready! Flare it up, bro! Pa -pa! Nice. We got this. We got this. Okay, do I gotta do the same thing again? Hey, jerk! Yes! Okay, okay, I forgot, I didn't see what that said. I'm not even loading new flares, I'm just firing them constantly. Oh, Jesus! Come on, man! Oh, Christ. I mean, I guess that works. Okay, now can I dodge this big old Bessie? Ow! Okay, see ya! Up to the attic, we can go. Signature style and flair. Thanks, Jude. We love you. 
Do 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 I'm- I'm looking at you through the glass! Can you hear me? Joey! Are you okay, Joey? Please! Over! Yes, I'm safe. I'm in the attic. Just barely made it. Phew! Over! Locked in, actually. I dropped the key. Safer in attic than rest of house. Key can be retrieved later, over. I think you were right. The way they smashed through the living room window and the front door, if I'd stayed in my room, I'd be a goner. Separated us with Vanguard. Destabilized power. Probe defenses. Finally attempted entry through multiple points of ingress. Basic siege tactics. Over. Jude knows what they're talking about. You actually know this stuff? I didn't realize you actually knew this stuff. I kind of just thought you just like pretending to be a spy or whatever. We'll take as compliment. Over. Anyway, thanks. I'll just hole up in here for now, I guess. Are you safe in the treehouse? Should you try calling your friends or something? Didn't want to risk their involvement. Always a gamble in case you soldiers of fortune. But maybe time. Remain, se remain secure in location and ignore object under curtain. Over. Uh, I'm not going to ignore it. Well, obviously I'm not going to ignore it. Joey, please! Over. What? It's a big mysterious thing under a beguiling fluttery curtain. I have to at least peek at it. Yeah. Joey's me. Well, Jude is also me. I, I will be Joad. <laughs> what is it, anyway? That is sufficient to determine. Over. Well, I let you know when I find out. Joey! Don't! Tack de- Seriously, that's been over. You there, Joe? Oh, God, oh, darling, it's really bad. I did over, dude. Can you repeat that? Lots of static. Joey, please. I can't lose you. Please do. <laughs> And go near the portal. Ver. Did you say portal? Hmm. I. Oh yeah. Let's high five the monkey paw. You left them hanging long enough. In fact, as you stare at the gross, this desiccated hand in the jar, you begin to suspect that the time for you to break open this jar and slap an anonymous dead hand against your own alive hand has tragically passed. Damn it. The world is in crisis. If only Captain Planet were here. Then the monsters could eat him and you could escape while they were distracted. <laughs> Another victim of Jude's overzealous crow barring, no doubt. Any chance he gets to go prying and jimmying, the kid just goes nutso. What? What is this? No, this really isn't that kind of mystery. The boring kind, where you have to frequently refer to your rigorously maintained collection of shipping invoices in order to make any progress. You hate those. Okay. Ooh, lock and load! Oh wait, she doesn't use guns. There is no chance you're going to pick up this gun, and you certainly aren't going to lock and load anytime soon. It just isn't going to happen. It's stupid to even think that. It's stupid what you said. Come on, game. Consider mummy. You draw strength from the mummy's un unassailable calmness. You are stronger now, having considered the mummy at length. So you're gonna go ahead and stop considering the mummy. Good call, good call. Choice. Alright. Is this a portal to the aliens? This is less creepy than the hyper muscle horse man fountain in the yard, but this isn't really saying much. What are these? Some very old pigeon cages. You'd suggest they be thrown out, but old cages definitely fits with the aesthetic up here. Okay, can we put the pigeon in it? One might expect that after all the fracas he's been through, this little guy would be eager to return to the safety of a cage. 
But he's reluctant to leave your hand. Perhaps you two have bonded. Is the true cage friendship? <laughs> oh wait, no, there's some old poop in there. <laughs> oh, look at these cool masks. Let's wear one. Disguising your identity and impairing your vision wouldn't really help matters much. You're pretty sure the monsters are going to eat anybody they meet. Fine, game, fine. Take the harpoon guns. You don't use guns. These are definitely loaded though. Your pa doesn't leave unloaded guns lying around. Or hanging precariously in decaying nets either. Jeez, this is right over your room. Thanks, pa. You put this in the attic yourself, because it weirded you out that your pa had a lamp shaped like a woman's leg. Oh shit it is! Wearing high heels and everything. Little did you know he'd soon graduate to lamp shaped like, shaped like entire women. Yeah, there was whole bustiers down there. Right, let's go look at the portal! This is spooky. Oh, that's what it is! The thing that was in Jude's treehouse! Because he said people really wanted it. Holy shit! <gasps> is that what this key is? Oh, it has like a specific... Yeah, it has these symbols on it. Ooh. You have no idea what this is. You don't know where it came from or how long it's been there. Did you know about this? Is that why he really sent you to the attic? No, that doesn't make any sense. He... Did your pa know? It looks kind of different from the stuff he usually dumps off here. Feels different. In your mind, at least. You... Wait. What? You... You're having trouble thinking clearly. Trouble keeping your th train of thought. How... How long have you been standing here? I'm just gonna chalk this up to uh, me no likey. You don't know how to operate this thing except, of course, to put a key in and turn it. That seems like the obvious thing, doesn't it? Like the most obvious and necessary thing you've ever known and we're always going to do. And I've always known, and do it, do it, do it, now, 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 the key, do it, do it, open the door! This thing is fucking freaky. Yes, definitely, yes, jeez, wow, yes, you, okay, yeah. You wanna do that? Just, yeah. The keyhole, do it. Do it, you, you feel like you have to. I'm fucking trying. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. I don't think a flashlight's gonna save you. That's cool! So the symbol itself was the portal. Ah, oh, shit. Am I on a different planet or something now? This isn't good. My UI is all different as well. It's all alienified. So, I passed a character on the way down, so we swapped. Hive swap, you're swapping hives with somebody else. Unless you actually live in like a beehive. That's an alien robot. A busted up robot? It seems like something pretty intense went down here just before you arrived. Okay. Look at this iPad. Oh shit! I went to click this and I ended up clicking off some of the dialogue here. For some reason you can understand it anyway. Oh. Hello? Is someone there? Is this a chat room? If a moderator is present, I require some assistance, please. 
Petrarch. Huh? There was a huge explosion. Is this your version of XD? Were you harmed? Thanks for asking. Although, I didn't see any explosion. Well, maybe I did. Sorta? Oh, wait, is this- is this, um... Joey? The roof of your hive is totally jacked. If you say so- wait, can you see my roof? Who are you? What do you mean, my hive? So this is literally a hive. This looks like- like honeys and bees and- like hexacombs and beehives and everything. Oh! Oh no. I'm so sorry. I forgot the code again. I'm really trying, I swear. It's just because I, I was so worried about you, I, I wasn't thinking, and it'll never happen again, I promise. I... What's going on? Nothing! All, all that matters is that you're okay. You are okay, right? Um... Yeah, oh, okay. Uh... Sure? Sorry! I'm, um, why are you apologizing? It never hurts to be sorry. Uh, okay. Who are you? I'm Zephros. Or Zephros. No, well, that's how I'm pronouncing that name. Unless it's Exephros. I'm Zephros. Oh, no. That was a test, wasn't it? Okay, I know I just said it would never happen again, and I mean that starting from now. No exceptions to the code. I'm absolutely not Zephros. Right. Okay. I feel like you would have like a bee voice. Like, I'm not Zephros. Bzz, bzz, bzz. <laughs> Doing like sparks from Spyro. <laughs> Where am I? Okay. You know, I know this one for sure. Um, you're in your basement, right? I mean, you're not there. You're somewhere else. Uh, I, um, oops, did I say the wrong thing? Uh, where do you want me to tell you you are? So, um, Zephros? I'm getting that I'm in a basement somewhere, but you think we shouldn't say that? Yeah, that's exactly right. I got it right. <laughs> uh, didn't I? Uh, if you say so. I don't suppose you know what the deal is with this huge machine with the snakes on it? It's sort of like one in my attic. Except the one in my attic wasn't so space age and it didn't have a weird force field bubble. Attic? You know, down the hall, up the stairs, the highest room in the house. Oh, duh, uh, more code. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, the secret weapon. I'm sorry about that, Tetrarch Damek. What? Secret weapon? Tetrarch, Tetrarch? Damn Sorry, I know I keep messing up. Um, I'm doing my best. <laughs> what is Tetrarch Damic? Tetr Tetrarch. <laughs> um, your name? I mean, not your name. Ah, shit. My name isn't Tetrarch Damic. Oh, of course not. I uh, never know who might be reading. Uh, oh, jeez. What was your code name again? <laughs> my name is Joey. Right. Ah, uh, I knew that. Um. This was all my fault. I'm sorry. I had no idea things would go so wrong. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I was going to ask you first, but then I thought maybe it was a quiz, and that if I had to stop to ask you, I would fail. Uh, so I just put the battery in the weapon, like you said. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? I thought you left what, that weird paper out in the crate as instructions. <laughs> Everything we talk about has X's in it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Weird paper? Not weird. Great! Um, the plan is great, Joey. The heiress will never expect it. I mean, I'm still not sure I get what it is exactly, but, uh, still. <laughs> Just proud to be entrusted with such an important duty. Hey, let me get back to you. Um, that guy was a little weird. But Zephros, you're cool. I like you. It's a futuristic forklift. It's probably what moved that giant crate over there. Okay. You attempt to do something with the tablet and this control panel, but you don't know how. Maybe talk to that guy again? Yeah, I'll get back to him in a minute. Um, 
so whoever this Damek person is, it's, so Tetrarch Damek must be the character that flew past me, right? And they wanted to set up this to do something with the heiress, princess, forget s. Uh, let's look at the door. A futuristic looking door in a gloomy, futuristic looking bunker like place. Maybe all the answers are through here? Hmm, maybe. You can hear awful slams and growls coming from the other side of this door. You aren't even gonna try to open it. Okay, let's operate the, the, the claw forklift. The claw lift. You don't know how to drive this thing. It doesn't seem to be on anyway. Oh, man. You pick up a hand-drawn, scribbled-on diagram of the portal, showing how the pieces fit together. Oh, okay. Hey, I found the paper you were talking about. So, what do I do with it? Well, uh, okay, give me a minute. I know this. Um, ah, I'm really sorry. I didn't think you'd be quizzing me right after what happened. Mm, I swear I'll prepare better next time. It's okay. Wow, really? <laughs> Yes, uh, really. Uh, it's not a quiz. I have no idea what any of this means. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Is it a test? Uh. No. I seriously have no idea what's going on here. I've never even seen this thing before. What is it telling me? I'm doing my best, but I don't know what you want me to do. <laughs> please, please tell me what you want me to say. Oh, Zephros, you're so fucking cute. Um, so this paper seems like some kind of schematic for the portal I just came through. It looks kind of familiar, not just the portal, but the paper itself. I don't know how that would even be possible, though. Anyway, is that right? This is a diagram for the snake machine? Well, if I remember right, that thing is a guide to the weapon. The weapon? You mean this snake portal? Oops, uh, the code. Okay, yes, uh, the portal. Um... Can I unlock the snake machine with this? Is that what I should do? Unlock the snake machine? Oh, uh, the serpent security program for your hive's power hexagrid. Um, yes. If that's what you want, Tetrarch. Hmm. You can always do whatever you want. Uh, hmm. Wow. Will, uh, that thing you said, will that help me get out of here? Exactly. Just pull all the X fingers on the back of your tablet until the control panel uplink executes. X... 10... What? Oh, X... 10 Roman numerals. Oh no, I'm in trouble. I did exactly what I'm not supposed to do. This was a... this was an test, and I blew it. Of course you remember, and I definitely shouldn't have said any of that. I'm so sorry. It's hard to keep up with these espionage rules sometimes. Okay, um, I'll just go check that out. I'm so sorry, Tetrarch. I'm just gonna leave you to, uh, whatever it is you do. What a weirdo. If you hid inside this crate, you think you'd be nervous that it was somehow going to suddenly close up around you, and you'd be left screaming in the dark in a slimy box somewhere and possibly far from your home. So you don't think you'll be hiding in the crate just now. I'm pretty sure I'm freaking far from home as it is right now. Ah, shit. It's, oh, God. I have to go through all of this again. I didn't mean to click on this. He said to open up the back of the thing. Go home? Ow! That didn't exactly hurt, but it was kind of tingly? You don't think you'd be able to reach the portal while that force field is on. Okay. See, I want to click this thing to try other things, but if I click it, I think it's just going to mess me up. Hmm. 11 days. What if you just stay in this room forever? The melancholy glow of this mysterious device, your only company? What if you just book the system and refuse to scramble about rearranging the deck chairs on this sinking ship to the rhythms and indifferent string quartet who've lurked just out of sight every moment of your life? Well, fine, but you'd still only have <laughs> you'd still only have about eleven days before this timer ran out, whatever that means. Okay, here we go. You place all ten of your fingers on the back of the tablet and approach the control panel. Hey! Some kind of password entry program appears on the screen. Okay, is this password entry program a video game? Hell yeah! We're playing Snake! Oh my god! It's just like my Nokia 3210! Oh crap. Nice. Hell yeah, dude! 
<laughs> Hello, Plain Snake! We got the password! Zulu Cthulhu my Nenglon! I don't know what that means. Oh, shit. Did I do good? Hey, it turned on! Oh, crap. <gasps> it's a deer dog! Shiny pupper! No, don't run away! He's cute! Okay. I want the shiny pupper dog. I want to give Joey a cool voice. I gave her a plain voice because she seems just like a regular old girl. But I can't do a girl's voice, so everything kind of just turned into an American accent, which isn't even very good. It's a lot of boxes, crates, miscellaneous containers, etc. Pretty mundane stuff, in your honest opinion. Not your first box sack rodeo. Okay, this looks like the character who flew by. I've seen these characters before. Even before I knew anything about Homestuck or Hive Swap, I've seen characters like that before on the internet. Okay, let's move over. Ooh, command center. Why are there like M16s here? <laughs> this I get. This looks like a high-powered laser gun that you'd expect to see in an alien spaceship. Um, or alien planet. Actually, I just... I just thought I'm in an alien spaceship. I, I just realized I actually literally have no idea where I am. I'm gonna continue saying that I'm on an alien spaceship, that I was beamed up. This seems to be a map, but you don't recognize the shapes of any of the landmasses depicted on it. Or, well, actually, now that you think about it, they maybe do kind of look familiar, but you're not sure where you would have seen them before. The globe in your dad's place. The globe in your dad's place where you get the key to the attic. Marbles, lasers, you know? You didn't recognize the landmasses there either. You don't really know what this is all about. You would kind of like to never find out, please. Okay, can I not do anything with this? Okay, let's talk to this dude. Hey. Hey, uh, Xerox? Are you there? His name is Zephros. I don't know how I feel about the codename Xerox. It's pretty close to Zephros, don't you think? Mm, I mean, imagine I called you Dammit. Haha, <laughs> Dammit. Not that I would ever do that. Ah, uh, sorry. Okay, I don't really know what to say to any of that. Sorry! <sighs> it's fine, stop apologizing. It's actually really annoying when you do that all the time, FYI. Oh! Sorry. Ah, oh, shit, I mean, sorry, fuck! Ugh, forget about it. I wanted to ask you about the security console. Uh, I played the game on it, but all that happened was a forklift drove straight into the force field and exploded. Wow, your forklift exploded? Yeah, it's, uh, not mine, though. Is it yours? I'm sorry I wrecked it. No, of course not. Uh, I mean, do you want me to take it? Because it's broken? I wouldn't mind. I mean, whatever. I just wanted a forklift since I was a tiny little bee. Up to you. Uh, all right. And then a weird monster menaced me into this other room, and there's only one door. This is kind of a bad situation. Weird monster? Yeah, is that a deer cat thing? Deer cat thing? Are you having a fight with your Lusus? Lusus? How do I pronounce any of this stuff? Not that it's any of my business. Uh... Lusus? Is that what you call that thing? I barely got away with my life. Wait a minute, are you actually not Tetrak Damak? No, I'm Joey. Joey Claire? I don't know what's going on. There's a bunch of big computers and boxes and I don't know where I am or who you are, but you kept acting like you knew what was going on. Well, what are you doing with that Tetrax tablet? Do you mean this Trapper Keeper laptop? I found it on the floor. Oh no, is Tetrak Damak there? Maybe I could talk to him instead, please? Please give the tablet to Tetrak Damak, please. I don't know who Tetrak Damak is. I don't know who you are. Uh, could you look for him, please? Okay, yeah, I'll just root around in this room that's filled with guns. Huh, okay, thanks. Cool. Um. What? What else should I look at? Oh, this shit. Who is this? Looks like a fish lady. 
Looks like Undyne! Okay, trying to figure out how this thing works. This reminds you of Jude's dorky conspiracy theories. Although, I guess maybe those weren't actually conspiracy theories. More like conspiracy facts, apparently. I guess the same may go for all of his stuff, but jeez. Do these dorks have to always dig themselves into such crazy bones hole? What with the layered scrolls and everything? Okay, is this all the same? Yeah. She has the same for all of it. Um... What? Did you find him? No! Oh no. I don't know what to do. What should I do? Oh my god. Why on earth are you asking me? What's Earth? What? Oh. My. God. Jude? Is that you? Is this another one of your stupid practical jokes? This isn't funny. No! I'm Zephros! Okay, Zephros. Tell me what's going on. I am... I don't really know. Actually, I'm kind of upset because you're yelling and it makes it harder to think. Mm, I know I'm not very smart or good at anything, but I really am trying my best. I'm sorry. Oh, I can't believe this. I'm the one who just got sh shot through space into an alien nightmare at horror house, and you expect to make, make expect me to make you feel better? Look, we all have self-esteem issues, but there's a time and a place for pathetic groveling, and this is not while I'm trying to not be devoured by alien monsters. Wait, you're an alien? I'm two seconds away from throwing this disgusting joke machine into any one of several of massive piles of armed and dangerous garbage around. Wait, no, don't! Um, this is so exciting. I've ne never met an alien before. Hmm, I'm like seriously losing it. Most trolls never meet aliens. Trolls? Are we actually dealing with trolls? Oh god. <laughs> Until they go off planet to conquer them. What? Oh, okay, but like... You could be messing with me. Are you messing with me? The Tetrarch says I have to stop being so trusting. Oh, I know! Say something only an alien would say! Uh... I'm from a planet named Earth. That would be pretty damning. I'm a nightmare squid god. I'm going to tap dance your sad little nerd body into the ground. This seems like a Joey Claire thing to say. I'm going to tap dance your sad little nerd body into the ground if you don't cut out this stupid baby nonsense right now. That's, uh... Did you understand what I was asking? That was sort of a normal thing to say. No, it wasn't! That was... Not a nice thing to say at all. Ugh. Sorry. It's all a little nuts. And the deer cat maybe got me a little rattled. So, you're not an alien. No, I am! I mean, if this seriously isn't Earth... Which, between the snake machines and the deer cat and the sci-fi technology, I'm willing to believe. Plus, there were some other monsters earlier, so I'm having that kind of a day. Monsters? God, it's kind of hard to flip between their voices so much. They're in such a high register. Yeah, I managed to get past them. Barely. Oh, you're so cool. You're like, on a real adventure. Wait, what color is your blood? Uh, what kind of question is that? I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to be disrespectful. I just wanted to be sure I knew before I made a mess of things. Um, okay, it's red? <laughs> really? Oh, me too! Awesome! We could even be friends! This is so cool. <laughs> hey, maybe I could even help you. How? The Tetrax Lucis knows me. Hell! Cam, he'll, he'll calm down if I can get over there. I mean, really should put some punctuation in there, so otherwise it just looks like hell. None of us want to go to hell. By Lusus, you mean the deer cat monster? Um, yes. That's wonderful, thank you. <laughs> yeah, except, um, I don't know. I'm still murry, worried this might all be a big test. A test? I don't follow, sorry. Boy, it is getting kind of frustrating having to say that over and over. <laughs> the Tetrarch is always testing me. If this is the final exam of secrecy stuff and I blow it, he's gonna be really disappointed. Oh, I know! If you can prove you're an alien, I'll come over there and help you out. Okay. Do you want me to say more alien things? No, I mean, I have no way to verify if those are true or not. Uh, send me a picture of you. I don't have any photos with me. And anyway, how could I even get it to you? 
I'm trapped in here by that monster. Are you using the Tetrax tablet? Take the pics with the- with that! And... X... x it over! Okay... Pics? x -mit? Pictures! Transmit! Oh! Okay, um... It's kind of a weird ask, Xerox. But I'll give it a shot, here goes! His name is Zephros! Uh... what? Oh! Your name is Zephros... Trito. Ah! So you're Zephros Trito. Yeah, I thought you were gonna be Tetrak Damak for a second. I thought you were the person who flew by me. But this definitely does not look like Earth, and can I just say... Oh, you're having a difficult evening. Just one of many in a predictably difficult life. Because you are rust blood trash. Some people out there now who are just going... Because of all these characters and all these references and all these words and everything and hearing just the name Zephros and Rust Bloods and everything is probably making people go, HE SAID IT! <laughs> so people on the last episode are like, I can't believe I'm living in a time where Jack said Homestuck out loud. It's kind of funny. You just witnessed beams of red and green energy erupt from the hive of your- The hive of your best friend Tetrarch Damic. Is it Tetrarch or Tetrarch? I think it's Tetrarch. Right before a squadron of Imperial drones snatched up half of your neighbors, so it's safe to say your revolutionary efforts are not going great. Oh, and it seems you've received a package. Okay, oh, I wanted to say, can I just say how gorgeous this background is? That's really cool, you can see all the, like, buildings in the distance all have little blinking lights on them. It's very pretty. Okay, well I'm gonna leave this episode here. This seems like a good stopping off point. I don't wanna get too heavily into whatever's going on now because I could be here for like another hour at the very least, but this game is so much fun. It's really kicking off now. I guess the whole stuff at home was all just the introduction and now we're actually in what the story's supposed to be about. Now it actually makes sense. A hive swap. I had no idea what the actual name meant. I still don't know what homestuck men means, but I can probably hazard a guess. You're stuck at home because Hive Swap kind of became literal, so, I don't know, but I, I really like it a lot. Again, the music is still, like, really, really good, and the, the art style is really good. The, the dialogue might be my favorite thing, the characters and the dialogue, and that's what I love about games like this. And I'm glad I played it because of that, because it's very much my style of humor, and just the, the weird kind of quirky stuff going on. Also. Well, I say it's my type of humor, but everything is kind of my type of humor. I don't know. I like different types of humor for different reasons. But thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face like a boss. And I face out loud. Whoosh, whoosh. But thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes. Make him a troll? Am I literally being a troll in a video game?